to finite pain and disappointment, or we can open ourselves up to infinite love and possibility. Is this not a time in the life of America where we recognize signs all around us that God is up in heaven and the world is headed in the right track? Sometimes we think we are in full control, that we have made so many advancements in science and technology. We have machines that can fly around the globe, but it takes a miracle on the Hudson River to remind us that we may take the plane up, but when the engines go out, it is the determination of humankind and the God that we love that will bring that plane down and have people walking away. We live in a great time where the love of people, the consistency of our commitment, the determination and the grit of our souls can advance this nation further and farther than even our ancestors believed is possible. This is the day and age in which we live. This is the legacy of a king. Amen. We, a people who made a way out of no way, who made it up the rough side of the mountain, who planted seeds in this soil and watered them with our tears and blood to grow fruits for future generations. This is the life and time of Martin Luther King. And now we as a people cannot yield. We cannot relent. We cannot hesitate or equivocate or retreat one single inch. King challenges us all, no matter who you are, anybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't need to be a senator or a governor. You don't need to make your verb agree with your noun. All you need is a heart full of spirit and a soul energized by love. Even if you are a street sweeper, King said, you sweep, street, you sweep that street like Michelangelo painted paintings. Every man and every woman has a genius inside. Well, I'm proud today to meet one of the, to introduce you all to one of the most fearless men I have ever met. He was born right here and raised in New Jersey. Hails from a city that has too often been maligned, but from that city, great things have grown and come. He comes from Camden, New Jersey, our, our city in the South. This man has taken what God gave him, and what he has entitled everyone, the gift of genius, the gift of light, and the gift of love. And he has unleashed it on the world. He has focused on an art form and elevated it to the very music of angels. There's a wonderful saying by a wonderful woman written in a book called In Search of My Mother's Garden. Alice Walker wrote about revolutionaries. She said, the real revolutionary is always concerned with the least glamorous of things the helping someone fill out food stamp forms because we all must eat revolution or not. The raising of a child's reading level from first grade to third. The being there for our elderly folk and writing down the history so that the next generation knows from whence we come. The real black revolutionary knows never to get too far away from the people that they are to serve, to always be there for them when they need you. This is a man that has now come back to the people. He travels the globe working on projects large and small, but he knows what his connection is to. He's come back to this hallowed city that gave birth to so many great jazz lessons. He always, in what he does, connects himself to that human element that transcends race and religion, that transcends geography, that within us that makes us human, that connects us one to the other, that reminds us, as King said, that we are all caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a common garment of destiny. He represents a new generation of artists and revolutionaries that are spanning this globe, that are looking up and seeing a new president and uttering his words through their works, through their label, labors. Yes, we can. Yeah. I am proud to introduce you today to a man that touched me at the core of my soul, that inspires me in the work that I do, who shaped me in my very clinging to earth and helped me understand the work that we have to be done and that God resides in every one of us. I bring to you right now, to this ancient instrument, a modern man, I bring to you the great Eric Lewis E. Lou.